In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add and subtract fractions that have a common denominator. To do this, we'll consider a pi. And this first fraction, 3 eighths, tells me we're looking at 3 eighths of the pi. So let's split this pi into 8 pieces. 3 eighths will represent 3 of these 8 pieces. 1 eighth represents 1 of the 8 pieces. When we add those together, we see there's a total of 4 pieces shaded. They're still cut the same size, though. The size of the cut hasn't changed. We have 4 eighths of the pi, which reduces to 1 half. As we can see, there is exactly 1 half of the entire pi shaded here. This suggests the pattern we use to add with fractions and subtract is we will add the numerators. Or subtract. So we see how many pieces we have in the end and we will keep the denominator. As the size of the pieces has not changed. It's also important to remember that with addition and subtraction, we will always reduce at the end of the problem. This is very different than multiplication, where we reduced at the beginning. With addition and subtraction, we will always reduce at the end. Let's take a look at some examples and see how they work out. 5 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. Both have a common denominator, so we will add the numerators. 5 plus 4 is 9, and keep the denominator of 12. We have 9 twelfths. This fraction can reduce, because 9 and 12 can both be divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, over 12 divided by 3 is 4. We have our final solution of 3 fourths. Let's try one more example. In this problem, we have 7 24ths minus 5 24ths. We have a common denominator. All the pieces are cut the same size. We start with 7, take 5 away, subtracting in the numerator, leaves us with 2, out of, keeping the denominator, 24. Now we can reduce at the end. Again, this one is both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. We have our final difference of 1 twelfth. Adding and subtracting with fractions, if we have a common denominator, we simply add or subtract the numerator and keep the denominator. 